Fikra, welcome to Bradford City. Two-year deal signed. How happy are you to have got that over the line? Delighted, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's happened quite quick. Uh, I think first day I spoke to Gaffer was just last Friday. So, um, yeah, he just informed me of the plans and the project that he has, um, that he has, that he wants to start here. Um, and once he told me all his plans, I, I was more than happy to be on board. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get going. You say it happened quite quick. What was it that drew you mainly to the club? Um, I suppose the Gaffer. Knowing his, his, his track record, I suppose, every club he's gone to, he's done really well there. Um, he's managed to get them promotions and he's always left the club and players in a better place. Um, so I'm looking forward to working with him um, and also the lower the club as well. I mean, it's a big club, um, probably be the biggest club I've played for so far. So, um, yeah, I'm just delighted now to get started. What can you bring? We know you're a centre half. What kind of a player, perhaps for those who haven't seen you play before, would you describe yourself as? Uh, quite a passionate player, yeah. Um, very competitive. Um, I'll get stuck in, I'll, I'll, I'll fight till the very last minute. Um, I'm quite a vocal person as well in and out of the change room, so I'll try to get uh, the team organised if, if I get my chance and things. So, um, yeah, look, just a very competitive player, and, and I'll, I'll look to do my job as best as I can. You've played against Bradford City before at Macclesfield, at Wrexham last season, played a lot of games over the course of the past few years. Is that the kind of thing you're looking to bring here, that consistency, that experience? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, I'm looking to play as many games as I can. Um, just bring consistency and uh, hopefully, you know, I can I can cement my place in the team and just, uh, yeah, bring better things to the football club. You mentioned the gaffer, a new one in the dugout ahead of this coming season. You spoke about his track record. I guess that was a huge attraction for you. Of course, yeah. I mean, you just have to look at last season getting more and promoted. Um, they probably came from nowhere the season before. Um, so he shows that he can do something really good in, in a short space of time. So, um, yeah, look, I'm just so happy to be a part of it now. Supporters coming back next season as well. I guess that gives you something else to, to kind of look forward to, to focus on, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I've never played at, at Valley Parade, so um, I'm looking forward to it. And I know you always have a, a good fan base, so uh, I can't wait to get started. And I suppose looking forward to the next two years and beyond the, the kind of goals and ambitions for next season have been outlined. How confident are you? How, look, how much are you looking forward to, to getting stuck into those and progressing? Yeah, look, um, there's a plan in place um, and I just want to, to make sure that that plan is hit, not that the objectives are hit. So I'm just looking to, uh, to do that really.